What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Orlando Pro is going down today and let's just see. It looks like that it is gonna be an easy win for Hassan Mustafa. I mean the way he showed up at Toronto Pro, it really raised his stocks as an IFBB Pro. And the reasoning given to the fans on why Hassan lost to Ian Valier was that he wasn't as conditioned as Ian at that show. Now that means if Hassan comes in a little tighter, at the Olympia of course because I'm sure he's gonna win this show and get his Olympia qualification. So if he shows up with a little better conditioning at the Olympia, he is looking at a top 10 finish. And the reason I'm saying that is this. If Ian publicly stated that he is coming for the top 8 spot this year, Hassan Mustafa should definitely think the same way. Now speaking of Ian Valier, he has released 18 weeks out physique updates as well. We are 4 weeks past Toronto Pro and he is holding things pretty tight. There is no denying the fact that there are structural flaws in his physique. We all know that. But I'm gonna say he makes up for him with his conditioning. But because of those flaws, Ian is gonna have to heavily rely on other pros to come in off if he wants to move up the ranks at the Olympia level. And even then, it is gonna be a challenge. And the only way he is gonna move up the ranks and slide by is if the other top guys leave the door open. So two seventh place finishes at the Olympia in 2021 and 2020. That was the best result for him as a pro. So is there a possibility of a top seven finish at this year's Mr. Olympia? Well, considering that Rafael Brandao and William Barnack, both these guys on doing the Olympia this year, that is a perfect opportunity for Ian to make his mark and move up some spots. Look guys, Brandon Carey won the Olympia in 2019 because the top competition wasn't there. That isn't a diss towards Brandon. That is just me speaking facts. Of course, you get compared with the guys who are there. And of course, that is the only thing that matters. But majority of the bodybuilding community agrees with this fact that that was probably one of the weakest Olympia lineups in the recent past. And that is the reason why I'm saying that Ian can move up some sports because a couple of guys aren't gonna be there. Not implying that the Olympia lineup this year is gonna be easy, but imagine the arrival of Quinton to the stage next year, who made this bold move of setting out of the competition for two straight years. He is definitely fired up more than ever, and he has kind of a physique that comes only once in a blue moon. From Nick Walker to Andrew Jack, everyone acknowledges his potential, and Quinton really is one of those guys who took this offseason as seriously as his prep. So he definitely is gonna be a factor next year. You cannot count out a new guy like Carlos Thomas Jr. as well. He released another progress picture today. And for a guy who hasn't even made his pro debut yet, I dare anyone to pick a flaw in that most muscular shot. That has to be one of the most impressive, most muscular shorts out there. If he solves his gut issue and continues to progress, especially at this rate, imagine what he will look like next year as his physique gets that maturity as well. He is definitely going to be in the mix. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.